Hello and welcome to this lecture where we are going to test linear regression using Orange. The first step is to load the data sets. I'm going to use these components. In the list of data sets, we can visualize the target column. We can see categorical, that are data sets for classification. When you see numeric, it means that the data set is used for regression, since a number is going to be predicted. We can order the data sets and see the list of the available ones for regression. We are going to use this one in parts 1985. If you want more detail, you can read the description and follow the link. Double click to download it. Now we can visualize some of the data using the data table component. The goal of this data set is to predict the price of cars based on the features. For example, we have the make attributes. It is like the brand of the car, Audi, BMW, and so on, fuel type, aspiration, number of doors, for example, two doors, four doors, body style, drive wheels, wheel base, length, width, height, and a lot of different attributes. What is important to emphasize is that all these attributes will be used to predict the price of the car. There are 205 different cars, 25 features, and see here that 1.1% of the data is missing. As we can see this interrogation mark, it means that there is no information about these attributes. If you want to see more details, we can use data info components so we can see the size of the data set and the features, 11 categorical and 14 numeric. Regarding targets, it is a numeric target variable. Now we go to the model tab. Let's use the algorithm linear regression, connect the data set to the algorithm. If you want, you can double click and see some parameters that can be set. All the process is the same for the classification algorithms. Now we need to test and score, connect the components, then we connect the data sets into test and score, double click, and here is the result. It is different if we compare to classification. The metrics are not the same. We can see MSE, mean squared error, root mean squared error, and mean absolute error. The easiest to understand is the mean absolute error, which is the absolute difference between the real price and the predicted price. When I say absolute difference, it means that we don't consider if the number is positive or negative. A metric, let's say that it's similar to interpret like the classification accuracy, is the R2 coefficient of determination. The higher the value, the closer to 1, the best the result. We can see that the result is 0 0.88. It can be considered a good result. This value is in the range from 0 to 1. The closer to 1, the better the result. If you have values from 0 0.75, 
It means it is a strong correlation between the attributes. At the left part, you can also use cross-validation as well as the random sampling. In this case, 80% of the data is used for training. Just a reminder that the training process in linear regression is to find B0 and B1 parameters. As there are more attributes in the data set, a coefficient will be calculated for each one of the attributes. To better understand the mean absolute error, we can drag and drop the predictions component. We connect the algorithm to the prediction and also connect the data set. When we connect them, all the data will be sent to the algorithm and a prediction is going to be made. We can see this yellow symbol. It means that instances with missing targets are ignored. Orange is going to delete these instances. When we open it, we can take a look at the real price. For example, this is the price for the first car and this is the prediction of the algorithm. The error is 1,702. In the calculator, just to make sure it is correct, this is the prediction minus the real value. We can see here that the result is 1,702. This is considered to be the error. Regarding the other car, this is the real price, and this was the prediction. Real price and prediction, real price and prediction. To calculate the mean absolute error, we just add all these values without considering if the number is positive or negative, and we just divide by the quantity. We can see here that the mean absolute error is 1070. Basically, it means that when you use this algorithm to make a new prediction, the error will be similar to this one. For example, if the real price is 14, the prediction could be 13 or 15. 1,000 up or 1,000 down. When you are satisfied with the results, you can use safe model component. So it is possible to use this algorithm in other projects. That's all for this lecture. See you next time.